Today we're gonna line a women's lacrosse field on this practice field. We're gonna do the complete field, including the goal arcs here today. We're gonna make this field the size of a football field because that's what fits the space. Our basic shape off of this long fence. We're gonna be using our basic tools, our game day Pioneer PVIP paint, that's what we got. Our paint sticks, screwdrivers. You're gonna need two 400 foot tapes, two 300 foot tapes, a string that will go the full length of the field and uh, one that will go across. All right, we're gonna go 12 foot off of this long fence and we'll put a mark, put a mark right at 12 feet. Okay, we're gonna put two tapes together. We got our long 400 foot tape that's gonna go down the fence and then our end zone tape that's gonna go that way. So we're putting in the same stake and then we're gonna walk down this line. All right, we're at 360. We're gonna come 12 foot along this fence. All right, we got our main sideline in off the fence. We got another tape going this way. We're gonna square up that end where our cart is. All right, we have our sideline in. It's nice and straight, 12 foot off the fence. We're gonna square up this corner. Coming off our sideline, we're gonna stick a tape measure at 30 foot. Now we're gonna string it across to our end zone. Off our end zone, which is the yellow tape, and then the diagonal tape. So we're at 30 over there, 40 here, and 50 across. All right, using our screwdriver, we're gonna lay this end zone tape nice and straight and square. And then we're gonna set another long tape right here at 160. Only because 160 is as wide as we can go on this field. It should be 180 to 210, but it's a practice field. Now I'm at the opposite corner where I just was. I'm gonna stretch this yellow end zone tape and meet Dave at the other, other sideline. All right, so now we're gonna straighten up our last corner. We're at 360 and 160. All right, we have the basic shape of our field laid out. Now we're gonna paint around the outside with our aerosol cans using the tapes as a string. And then we'll put our layout marks on the outside or the inside. Also a good trick is to keep your paint cans warm on a cold day. They spray a lot better when they're warm. All right, Dave's gonna put the basic shape on the outside and then I'm gonna follow him and put all the measurements on that we're gonna need for the half line, goal line, etc. Our goal line is going to be at 30 foot for our goal. And then there's going to be a wing line, which would be the 30 yard line of a football field. So we're going to go 30 yards from the goal. 90 feet plus 30 feet would be 120 feet. So this will be our wing line. We'll put this on the inside. You can see our sideline. Our half line is going to be at 180 feet. That's the half of the field. There'll be a circle and a small line in the middle of the field. So we have a mark to the outside there. 240 feet will be our other wing line. So put that to the inside. Other goal line will be at 330 feet. And that is the end of the field. Now we'll mark the center. Okay, half of our end zone here, we're on the long side of the field. We're gonna put a center mark at 80 feet. This is the center of our field, long ways. And we're gonna run a string end to end. And all of our marks will come off the center of the field. 330, 180, 120. Our last goal line at 30. Here we are with our other center line on the end zone at 80 feet. Okay, while Dave rolls up the tapes along the sidelines, 
we're at our center line on the end zone. We're gonna run this string end to end and lay it across the field. And we're gonna do all of our measurements from now on off of this, off of this string. So we're gonna run this perfectly straight across the field long lengthwise. All right, we got our center line string strung across lengthwise of the field. All our measurements will come off of the center. All right, now we're gonna put a string across our end zone here. This will be our goal line. This is at our 30 foot mark on each side of the field. All right, we're laying a goal line across our field. This is at our 30 foot mark. Get her nice and straight. Right on our mark. All right, we're at our goal line and we're gonna stick a tape measure right center. That's our 30 foot line. And this is our long center line. We're gonna go 47 feet, nine inches. And we're gonna make a mark. This is gonna be for our large arc. The large arc on our goal. Put a dot at 47 foot nine. And then we're gonna go flip to the other side and do the same thing. All right, we're on the other side of the arc. We're gonna put another mark at 47 foot nine. And then we'll pull the tape out of the way and we're gonna lay a, a line all the way down. So I'll pull, pull that pin so we don't get paint on our tape. All right, here we are. We're gonna lay the bottom of our arc, 47 foot nine from each side of the center using our aerosol can. And stop at the dot. put our goal circle in at eight foot six radius so we'll put our tape eight foot six and we will go around and make a circle keeping the tape tight the whole time Now we have our circle. All right, we're back to our 47 foot nine. All right, we got our tape at 47 foot nine. We're going to do the big arc. Keeping the tape tight, we're still at the center of the goal. And we'll meet up in our line. Now we have the big arc. Now we're gonna do this line we're gonna set a pin at point a all right so we're gonna go to the back of the circle with a string and a tape measure we're gonna intersect this part of the goal and we're gonna go 40 foot three intersecting that with our strings that's what gives us our 45 degree angle all right 
we're gonna put a dot at 40 foot three. Okay, pull the tape out of the way. Let's go to the other yep. side. We'll swing the tape out of the way. We'll lay a, a mark. We're gonna paint a line on this string. This is our smaller arc. We're bringing the string and the tape to the other side of the arc. 40 foot three, intersecting the circle. A little bit more that way. And the string is the most important part. A little bit more, a little bit about right, right there. Nice and straight. We'll put a mark at 40 foot three. Okay, and we'll remove the tape out of the way. Now to, to complete the smaller arc, we're going to put the screwdriver back in the center of goal. And we're going to go 34 foot 10. We're going to go to the right arc. All right, we got our tape measure at the center of goal. We're at the top of our arc. We're going to go 34 10 on our tape measure. And we're going to spray the top of the arc. keeping the tape tight. And it matched up, so we must have been correct. So now we have the top of the arc. Now we just have to put our hash marks in. So we're gonna to go to our string. This is our center string. And we put a mark, roughly one foot, half. Sometimes we do a little bigger because they wear it out and you can find it on the repaint. Now we're gonna do our other hash marks, which are 13 feet two apart. So we're gonna intersect it, the top of the small arc, 13 foot 2. And going towards going towards the center of the goal, we're going to put a mark at 13 2. We got our mark. This is our hash. And then we'll restick that stake into that one and go 13 2 over to this side. Do one more. From this one. 13 foot 2 and 34 foot 10. Where you at? Okay, bring it to my thumb. Be our last hash on this side. Okay. 
I will do the opposite thing on the other side. We're still hooked up in the center. On the other side, we're doing the same thing. 13 foot cube. All right, here we are. Okay, and we're on the last one, last hash for this side. 13 two and 34 10. We're gonna put these these little dots here at the five yard and they go would be 34 10 34 10 and then 15 feet back here we are at the bottom of our arc we're going 34 10 from the center 34, 10, and 15 feet, which is five yards. We're gonna put a dot. Get it up here. Now we're just gonna put a circle. And we're gonna to go to the other side and do the same thing. Doing the other side, we're gonna do the dot. 34, 10. 15 right here. And 15 yards where they intersect. Put a dot, another dot. And this goal will be done. Now we'll go to the opposite side and do the exact same thing for the other goal. This goal is complete. All right, now that we're completed on this goal, we're gonna take our string that's going across and we're gonna to go to the center, oh, our wing line. This will be our first wing line. Go to the first wing line, Dave. Okay, here's our 30, oh, our 30 yard marker. Nice and straight, and we'll paint this line all the way across. And there's our wing line. Now we're gonna string the string across the center line and we'll do our center line mark and our center circle. We have our center string laid down. We're gonna to go to the middle of the field and do our center layout. Either way. All right, we gotta put a... Four foot 11. We're gonna go four foot 11 and a half. We have a nine foot 11 center mark. So we're gonna lay that in first. So we'll put a mark. Okay, we're gonna put a mark at four foot 11 and a half. On this side. We'll come over to the other side. There's our center mark, our center string. This is the very center of the field. And we'll put one at four foot, 11 and a half on this side. I'll pull our string. Oops, messed up our string.
Now we're gonna reinsert our stake and we're gonna do a 30 foot circle, 30 foot radius, the center of the field. foot keeping the tape tight maintaining a 30 foot circle 10 yard radius down to the other goal line we're just going to repeat the process that we did earlier it's exactly the same all right we got our last arc all done we're just going to wheel up all our tapes and we might go over it with a another coat of paint with the machine or we could go over it with spray cans again either way our layout's done 